Good morning. And this is Derwent Water. I'm actually on the beach at Crow Park, which is a very, very popular spot with photographers. But weirdly, I've never actually shot here myself. Uh, I came here a couple of months or so ago uh, with another photographer, Clive. You may remember him from my Start Your Own YouTube video. Um, but I don't shoot when I do one-to-ones and when we came here I wasn't really in the right frame of mind so I've come back today uh, to see if I can't get a, a shot of Derwent Water and, and Derwent Island and conditions are absolutely beautiful. We've had a beautiful pink glow in the sky and we've had very still conditions so we've got some beautiful reflections so I'm feeling quite optimistic about the shots that I get this morning. As you can see behind me, kind of lost that colour, the colour's gone from the sky, but it's still really calm, we've still got beautiful reflections. And these are wonderful conditions to photograph. And although we might be tempted to head on and, and go for a bit of breakfast, we're going to stick around. And one of, because I've got a couple of shots in the bag already, that gives me an opportunity to experiment a bit more. Um, so yeah, absolutely beautiful morning this morning. It isn't always like this. These conditions are just absolutely perfect for me. This is what I, what I love. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love shooting when there's colorful skies, just like anyone, you know, I really do. But I, I really love the muted color palettes that you get when conditions are like this. And I've been experimenting with composition, trying something new, because I've never shot here before, like I say. And um, I've been playing with some compositions. I've got a composition here, which has got some rocks uh, in the foreground. And I've, I've just been playing with how we position those, but yeah, absolutely love it. Now, when we arrived here, you know, the beach was quite busy. There was at least three other photographers here, but we've now got it completely to ourselves. And so I, I, I keep saying we, I have a friend here with me and I will introduce you to him in a minute. But first off, we're gonna head off and go and have some breakfast. So let me introduce you to my friend Ian. Ian, hello mate, how are you? I'm good Chris, thank you. Good. Um, what are you doing here? Good question. You've come up for the weekend. Yep. Um, and you're just sort of, we're just sort of hanging out and, and doing a bit of photography. It seemed uh, an opportune moment, didn't yeah. it? I gave you a quick call. Hey Chris, I'm up in the lakes. Um, let's get together. Yeah. Now how, how do we know each other? I think originally we met at the uh, photography show. So in the photography show Birmingham. last year. Yeah. Um, and then I came along on a on a workshop with you. Which That's was right. Terrific. Yeah. So Ian, Ian joined us for a workshop that I ran with James Burns, and it was a really really important workshop for me um, because I met three really good friends that day. Uh, I met yourself, Ian. Um, I met uh, Kat, who has featured in videos before, and I also met um, Jeff. And, and Jeff will be joining us in a couple of weeks' time. He's coming to spend the week with us. It was a really big day. It was a really important day for It was me. a really good day, too. We all enjoyed it enormously. Yeah, and there's a funny connection between you and me, isn't there? Or, my, or more importantly, my wife. Yes, uh, your wife, Helen. Uh, it seems went to the, the same school in, in the Chilterns that my daughter uh, yeah. attended. And... Uh, Small world. You live in the same village. I live there now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not from the Lake District. I'm from, I'm from the southeast of England. And um, Ian, you live very close to where I grew up. Indeed. Yes, in the Chilterns. In the Chilterns. Yeah. Seems a long way away at the moment. <laughs> it does. So I want to touch on Ian. I want to touch a little bit on what happened after you joined us for the workshop because I remember it was we had a fantastic time and we mm. spent again most of the weekend together. Um, and we had a fantastic time and you went away and we, we had lots of plans um, to, to get together again and to, and to shoot again. And that mm. never really happened, did it? No, it didn't, Chris. I, um, I, I went through a little bit of a, a, a dark patch in my life. Um, lost both my parents in, in fairly quick succession. And, uh, you know, it knocked me back a bit, if I'm mm. honest. Um, and I, I didn't feel that um, the creative juices were mm. available to me at mm. that time. So, mm. yeah, I went a bit quiet. Yeah. You, you, you're, you're very fortunate in that photography isn't your only escape. No. 
You're no. a keen fisherman. I'm afraid I am. I'm, I'm itching to cast a line now. <laughs> no, I, I am uh, a keen fly angler, yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't as though um, you didn't have some form of, of, of escape uh, mm. from, from the, 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 the things that you were going through. Mm. And I think we, we, we would also like to say at this point um, that a very good friend of ours is also going through a very similar thing at the yeah. moment. And we would just like to send our best wishes to him. He will be watching. So uh, sure. be best wishes to you, mate. Indeed, yeah. So I think um, uh, talking about the, the escape for me of, of fishing, um, I, I did continue with my fishing quite a lot uh, throughout the season last year and I found that um, I, I can go fishing and because I've been fishing all my life and I'm incredibly old now, um, <laughs> I, I can go fishing and it all just happens automatically. I can catch fish, there's no problem doing it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm engaged okay. in the moment. And because I'm newer to photography, if I come to try and escape through my photography, I, I'm, I'm, I'm needing to be much more engaged than I am when I actually go fishing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I so if there's no engagement there, it's a harder thing for me to, yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. I think um, certainly when when I've been in a, a rut with my photography, it, you know, a lot of it comes from frustration. Mm. Um, mm. And you know, nobody likes going out and coming away with nothing time after time after time. And that can be very demoralizing. And if you're not able to concentrate, if you're not in the moment, um, then unfortunately that's almost an inevitability regardless yes, of what you're faced with. Absolutely. I'm quite used to going fishing and coming back with nothing. Um, <laughs> well, I, know, I, I know why that's happened yeah. but that is the point. If I go uh, and take my camera out and I, and I get home I've looked at some little you know on the, on the back of the screen little versions I put the pictures on the screen at home I think really you know it, it wasn't there so I, I couldn't capture the moment mm. I suppose that's really what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So that, that kind of period in your life is, is starting to come to a little bit of an end and it you is. are getting a little bit more into your photography and it's quite interesting, we've, we've just been chatting, we've just been for breakfast, we've just been catching up and um, there's, a, there's a few things that you've kind of done to, to help you get back into the photography. And that's what we want to talk about now. Mm. Now, the first, the first thing is that I think that's really important is you've got a photography buddy, haven't you? I have. I have a, a, another uh, professional <laughs> uh, photographer who's a great, great chum uh, who lives down, uh, down south. Uh -huh. if I can say that. Um, and, and he's constantly badgering me to go out. He also loves walking as well. Yeah. So um, there's a lot in common yeah. uh, with us. And you're a real countryman, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm a country boy. Yeah. 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 Uh, same, same as me. I'm not really a city person. I think another thing that can really help trying to get back into photography, trying to get out of a rut, is trying something new uh, or coming to a new part of the world. Indeed. And Indeed. that's really what you've done this weekend. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know where I'm from. Yeah. You, you know, you know our, our uh, beautiful Chiltern Hills. They yeah. are they're lovely, but they are very much hills. I mean, we don't get this kind of vista no. <laughs> um, in, um, in Prince's Risborough, but um, <laughs> more's the pity. And certainly... Um, beautiful woodland, though. I mean, it's a wonderful place to shoot in the autumn. The beach is beautiful. Yes, there's a few woods um, in the area which are renowned for, for things like the autumn colours, mm -hmm. of course, with the beach. And then, of course, we get the bluebells in the spring, mm -hmm. which you, you'll know all about. Mm -hmm. But you'll also know, because uh, I know you've tried it, uh, woodland photography is a <laughs> whole it's dark science. That, something I uh, struggle with. It's, 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 it's on the list of things I struggle with, which is quite a long list. <laughs> yes. I think, you know, going back to something you said earlier, um, you know, being a country boy at heart, you, 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 you can't help but come here and your, your, your heart just sings. It's... Mm. It's, it's so invigorating and, and expansive. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful place. So, yeah. And we, 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 had a, we had a wonderful shoot this morning, oh. didn't we? Absolutely fantastic. And you've got some beautiful shots. So we've seen the, the back of your camera. Yeah. Uh, they look great. And I think, you know, if, if you can come... Well, if you can come somewhere... So most of us don't live in a national park. But if, if you are struggling um, with your photography, if you can come somewhere where you're almost guaranteed a really good shot... You, you never quite help. know what you're going to get. When you get up at dawn, you look out and it's all um, dark and, and slippery underfoot. <laughs> it, it looked optimistic driving in, but I have to say the light which greeted us was quite stunning. Yeah, it was, it was I one think of the best mornings. You I've live had. here and you were quite surprised. Yeah, I did. Well, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we're very lucky. So having a, having a pal 
to shoot with and, and to encourage you has helped. Coming somewhere new has helped. But you also took a, f a fairly drastic step, didn't you? I did. I did. Um, I'm, I'm hoping my wife doesn't watch this. <laughs> I know she's a big fan of yours, Chris, but um, I'm hoping she won't watch. Because I, I did go to the shops um, to do some retail therapy. Yes. Um, I think it's... Yeah, we all, as photographers, to an extent, suffer with, I think it's generally regarded as gas, isn't it? Yes. Um, and I had a fairly nasty episode of it, and I, I went and bought myself a new toy. So what have you bought? Um, I bought a Canon. You've bought a Canon. That's, now, that's going to shock a lot of people. Ian is, or was, uh, a Fuji man, and, and your purchasing a Canon has, let's make this clear, absolutely nothing to do with me. Nothing whatsoever, Chris, no. no you so don't I, deserve any no, fee or anything from no, no. Canon. Now, I like to... Uh, preach that gear isn't important in photography and to a certain extent that is true but there is something to be said if you again if you're in a, in a bit of a rut and you don't have to go to the extent that Ian has gone and changed systems but sometimes a new bit of kit yeah. can really spark the imagination open up new possibilities um, and it, it doesn't ha it could just be a filter it could could just be a 10 stop filter you know, 100 quid on a, on a good yeah. 10 stop filter you know can open up new possibilities um, now you've really enjoyed shooting with this already haven't I, you I've thoroughly enjoyed it um, I think to, just to add to your point there you, you don't want to go out and spend any amount of money or, or in indeed invest time in looking at a new piece of kit and bringing it home yeah. just for it to sit in the bag at home you uh, want absolutely. to get out and use it yeah. I think it's that extra push you need it's a psychological going. edge. Yeah. Now, and I've done exactly the same thing as Ian, albeit a few years ago. I, I use a Canon 6D, which I bought about five years ago now. And um, it was at a period of my life where I was going out and taking the camera with me. And I wanted to get more into photography. And so I bought a new camera, a new lens, and it you know, did encourage me to get out and shoot a lot more. So I hope that, you know, just by Ian sharing his experiences it helps you to um, understand perhaps some of the things that you can do um, to get out of a rut should you find yourself in one um, I think something else that I would mention um, as well that can help is as I said before trying different things so um, you may remember a week or so ago I was uh, taught using a book called uh, 52 assignments of landscape photography and there's a few assignments in there that are new to me that I you know I might say for when the next time I'm stuck in a rut but anyway Enough talk, we're actually going to try and finish off with a bit of a shoot. Uh, the light is it's pretty flat, but you know these are my kind of conditions, I kind of quite like that. There are no reflections, so the, the reflections have gone from the water, it's now um, completely broken. So we're going to try some long exposures, and if we get anything, we'll put it up. And if we don't, we still have a nice morning. What a great morning. Thanks, Chris. Pleasure, mate. <laughs>